Hello everybody and welcome back to Dardonian. And we were left off the previous one. We were just about to head on back to the tree in the garden because I think I'm supposed to find some sort of a map over there uh, or something that I need. But first, uh, let me go back into my messages and see what this one is all about. Helena, I'm worried about you. Come home, please. I want to be happy. I love you. I love you too. All right, we got the uh, message sent. Uh, let me actually make my way back downstairs and see if I can figure out what I can find down here. Is it like a secret room or anything? That would be amazing. All right, let's keep it going. So I'm going to go to the garden. I want to see if I can find something in the tree. Got another message. Stuck in the metro. Just tired of the city. Dreaming about running around in that cute little house of yours in Dardone. Wait, is it your house now? Isn't it? Uh, in the process of finding out, you wouldn't last a day in here. <laughs> in the process of finding out. Alright, let's keep it going. Uh, and let me try to check and see what it's all about. Ooh, there is something that she left there. Take off the jar from the truck. Uh... Wait, I cannot. There we go, we got it. It's it's still in there. So I have a note, first of all, that I saved. Hey, Manuela, my name is Mimi. I am seven years old, and I'm writing from the garden of the grandmother, Nora. She told me she was going to translate the letter into Spanish, a language you understand. I speak only French, even if my father wants to move to a faraway country because he thinks Paris is crazy. Sometimes he shouts at other drivers and I find it very funny. My grandmother Nora says she knows your parents and that you live in Mexico, a very colorful city. I would love to visit another city than Paris or uh, Sarlat. I love your city already because it has an X in it and it's a letter I love. I must leave you now. We are going to a cave with a very old drawing. My father loves everything old. Maybe not Nora's house. Maybe my father doesn't like houses. See you soon. Mimi. Everybody, ca everybody calls me like that. Alright, uh, we also have a tiny toy here apparently. <laughs> Aw, we made it! Together with Nora! And also this crazy looking book. Uh, this rings a bell. What? What is this? There must be something interesting here. I just gotta learn probably the uh, language, the alphabet. Oh! Wait, what? The Calubria. Uh, I think I'm remembering again. Awesome. We already dressed up and we are already ready to head on out. Hmm, Grandma should be calling me by now. Where is she? Don't worry about it. Uh, she must have be uh, dreaming a little bit more. Or more like sleeping a little bit more. Better. I hope you're okay. I'm good, thanks for I'm good, thanks for asking. <laughs> Alright, take it to the plant. Sounds like Grandma is downstairs. Okay. Oh no! Sounds like Grandma is sleeping somewhere. Oh, hold up! I found the tape! You definitely have to explore this game if you want to try to find all the tapes that you can possibly find. Hello again! This is Mimi, Extraordinary Reporter. What? What's going on? Grandma! We wanted to have a discussion with you today about a difficult topic. Hmm? Difficult topic? <clears throat> yes, the people of France want to know. W want to know what? Mimi, I was sleeping. It's 4 p.m. It's snack time. Where are the cookies? The cookies? You promised us cookies. I... <laughs> this is really good journalism. Waking me up from my nap and screaming in my ears. <laughs> Grandma! Fine, fine. Let's make some cookies. To the kitchen. And drop that mic. I'm gonna need your help to make them. That was Mimi, extraordinary reporter, solving another snack crisis for my country. <laughs> Mimi! I'm coming. coming! There we go. Awesome. 
love uh, I love finding these saves. They're weak. Time really flies. All right, let me head on back downstairs then. Although I think I hear Grandma sleeping, and she's sleeping. Ugh, I must disturb her, or I mustn't disturb her. Actually, that's what she's saying. Am I supposed to make something myself? She probably fell asleep reading that huge book she's carrying around. Well, time to go. Hold up, hold up. There's another tape here that I want. Reach the thief lair entrance. Let me listen to this one as well. Hello, everybody, and welcome to... Bad Books in August. With my co-star, Mimi. Today, you're going to talk to us about a book you had to read... Yes, Dad forced me to read a book for the summer while I was here in Dordogne. Problem number one, the book is boring. Problem number two, Grandma really wants me to read it. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm only doing my duty. Why don't you tell us the story? This book is about Francois, a boy who is obsessed with a tall, super cool student at a school called Moln. Francois does nothing but follow Moln while he does a bunch of cool stuff like running around and exploring a castle. Like I said, it's very boring. Eventually, Moln gets married but leaves his wife. Oh, not very nice. <laughs> nope. Then Francois takes care of the baby. It's, uh, I don't know much about boys, but no boy would ever take care of someone else's baby. <laughs> what is your general opinion about this book? I don't really understand what Dad sees in it. It's a classic. Maybe it's a classic because nobody said out loud how bad it was. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I guess it's time to say goodbye to all our listeners. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time. Oh man, I'm loving these memories though that we keep on finding. All right, well, uh, we stayed up late last night watching a movie about Russians. Grandma read the book so she couldn't stop shouting on the screen. Um, how about some stickers? Can I find some stickers right here? While oh, Grandma's sleeping. Uh, it doesn't look like it. All right, in that case, uh, let me check. Oh, sneaky. Uh, let me go check the kitchen for a second. I don't think I'm going to be able to find any more tapes. The pie we cooked last night was so good. I'm sure mom would have loved it. Um, no stickers around. And... The pantry. This little corner of the kitchen is still very scary to me. And nothing here either. Alright, in that case, let me make my way outside and try to make my way to the cave. In the previous episode, we managed to find the a thief, and he actually told us that we can get to the cave. And I'm super curious to see if I can get there, and what type of information I can uh, find about this place. We definitely have to keep on exploring this area for sure. Oh, we got a uh, sticker. A ladybug. Awesome. This place is definitely going to be filled up with a lot of stickers as well. It feels like every single day you got to explore the same things we explored previously in order to collect all the stickers. Can I go on the right side here? Because definitely never explored this part. Oh, look at this. Nice. This is really lovely. Got a photo. Okay. Another photo over there. So. Uh, let's go with four because I actually want to start recording some sounds. Just listening. There we go. We got the bill as well. And I know that for, there's also the chicken that I want to record. Nice. There we go. We got it. I 
think you can also record kind of like the leaves rustling in the wind. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think we got everything that we needed for now. So, let me head on out. I guess we're going to have to take uh, this path at the bottom again. I was so carefree. Off to meet a ten-year-old thief. <laughs> I feel like I'm remembering someone else's life. I wonder why I'm not remembering all this stuff. I still feel like probably something bad happened to me. Bebe must have fallen and hurt my head. And because of that, I must have forgotten. That's what it definitely feels like. Uh, let me just jump on the boat itself. Because I feel like I'm going to have to paddle all the way to uh, the boy's house. Or more like the boy's cave. How do we get to the cave, I wonder? Uh, this is definitely where I've been with the grandma, right? At the beach. But I feel like I gotta get past this area, maybe. I keep on going a little bit more on the river. Yeah, I feel like we gotta get past this area. Maybe the cave is going to be somewhere right here. Man, this is such a beautiful game. I'm going to get the world. Although all this is watercolor. I absolutely love how they created the world here. Alright, I think I, I think I see an exclamation mark straight up ahead. And I'm going to be guessing that's where I got to stop the boat. Or more like the kayak. And I'm probably going to have to climb somewhere all the way high up top uh, to make it to the cave. Alright, is this it? Hmm, this should be the right place, uh, I think. I can't see anything. I'm going to need something to light the way. Uh, there seems to be some lights right here. Oh, you know what? I think I gotta use this uh, bottle, yeah. And catch me some of these fireflies. Place them in the bottle. Uh, but before I do that, is there like a sticker or something right here that I can collect? Because it definitely doesn't look like that. Yep, definitely doesn't look like it. So, let me try to collect some of these fireflies. Come on, little guys. There's one. There's two. And... No, I got it wrong. Um, well, look, I cannot move the hand anymore. The hand is stuck. <laughs> Why is this hand stuck? Oh, there we go. There we go. And we got it. Perfect. That should do it. All right, and now this is providing some light for us. Whoa, it's so dark in the forest. You've unlocked a new location, the galleries. And with that, we also got ourselves a sticker. Uh, so I just gotta find a way to get all the way to the top of the cave. The adventure begins. Hey, Thief! What's your name? My name's Renaud. Whoa. Renaud? Like, Ray? No? Yes! Sorry, I was just wanted to shoot your name. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to shoot your name. Um, jump. <laughs> just pay attention. We got a loan here. Hey, are you still there? Yeah, why? Are you lost, city girl? I'm not lost. I'm coming. Don't worry about it. Yeah. 
impressed. This place is huge. Don't get lost. Yeah, I'm coming. Don't worry about it. I think I'm on the right path. got lost apparently as well I don't believe you've never got lost never I mean no ever <laughs> has he never got lost I wonder oh man this cave is awesome whoa are you kidding me <laughs> Guess you met my flying friends. I guess we did, buddy. Uh, uh, doubt. Uh, I knew I shouldn't trust a thief. <laughs> I am not a thief. Oh, that's what he said. I get it. Okay, okay. We gotta keep her going. Anger. Are you angry? Can I climb on top of this? I guess we can, yeah. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry I said that. You, you don't know me. It's fine. I'm used to it now. Calubre. Does Calubre mean a dragon? Oh, are you kidding me? That is so cool. What is this? Amazing. Mimi, say hello to Calubre. Legendary. That is so cool the way it was drawn. Come on, Mimi, hurry up! Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying, buddy. <sighs> Thanks for your help. I thought you were a great explorer. I am! Wow, this is. This is very, very cool. I know. These are things I collected through the years and you haven't seen anything yet <laughs> we've unlocked a new location Renault lair now what do we have here oh i do see the colobra in the uh, background there i've got good taste right go on keep looking all right hold up let me explore because i do see the colobra itself which is the book that i found That's the dragon you want to find? I want its treasure. What is Calubre anyway? It's a creature that sleeps at the bottom of the Dordogne River. It eats boats, sailors, fishermen. Oh, scary. How big is it? It's as long as Dordogne. It's gotta be hard to catch. Why don't you take the book with you so you can study the Calubre? That's a good idea. Thanks, Renaud. Hmm, that's, that's the best spot in the whole of Dordogne. Because I need the best lookout to track the Calubre. From up here, I can scout the whole river. Oh, that is true. Hold up, let me get me some sounds here. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. We got the river music. 
I'm also hearing a dog barking, but I cannot spot it. So that's the donkey we already recorded. All right, I think I also got the dog. Uh, next, let me go for the photos. Because we gotta take some photos of this place. This is three out of nine. Oh, I think I'm hungry. And you? Are you hungry? Oh, yeah. Hold up. I wanna take some more photos, buddy. And another one here. Alright, it's gonna be five out of nine. I still can take a few more before we're done. But probably a different location. This place is awesome. Oh, look at the cat. What's the cat doing here? Well, I have something even cooler. Cooler than this? <laughs> you have books, fishing rods, and a wonderful view. This is truly remarkable. Look at this beauty! <laughs> I can cheat in class, and I can even store ten phone numbers! Ten! No way! Can I see it? No, you can't. It's, uh, it's a gift from my teacher. Oh. But it's a secret. You can't say a word to anyone, okay? You're very lucky, Renaud. And I won't tell a soul. Thank you, Mimi. That means a lot. Oh man, so I have an idea. How about we practice the scream of the Colubra makes? To attract it? Exactly! You read my mind. Wait, we should record ourselves so we can set a trap or something. That's even better! Repeat after me. E huh. E so that's pink blue. <laughs> Your turn. Pink. E blue. E so again, that's up. E right. E left. Okay. All right. E up. E right. And left. E This is kind of like a Simon Says puzzle that we are uh, solving right now. So up, right, left. Up. Alright. Up. Right. Left. And up. Whoa, you're so much better at this Emmy. Oh, am I supposed to do it again? Yeah. All right, we collect a new tape. I love that we actually became best friends. Look at this. This is so beautiful. The first stars will be coming out soon. <gasps> oh no! I have to go. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Cause tomorrow we're hunting the Culabra. Oh, that was awesome. Apparently, we had a really wonderful day. Listen to yourself. It sounds like I was a monster. I worked, Fabrice, and... Oh, my God, who says that to their mother? What has Mimi got to do with this? She's independent, and she's having fun here. Oh, man. Hey, sweetie, you're back. How about some cocoa outside? Uh, yes, uh, I'll join you on the carpet table. Alright, so I guess I gotta go downstairs. I think, uh, Grandma was talking to Dad. They were having an argument, as usual. Anything else that she left around here that I could collect? Maybe, like, some stickers? I don't even know. Uh, anyway, let me just make my way outside. And get also some coca. 
Garden table right here. Ah, uh, we're so much better outside. Yes, and it's pretty cool to sit down. It's very chilly. Uh, we better make sure you don't catch a cold. Ah, she gave me a scarf. Thank you, Grandma. This scarf is so soft. So you sneaked out today, huh? I should be cross with you. But you aren't? No, as long as you answer three of my questions. Where did you go? Uh, adventure, close, and fun. Adventure. A cave. A cave. There are lots of them right here. Fine, fine. But why did you go there? Uh, uh, exploration. To discover stuff. Discover. That's a big word. I like it. More importantly, how did you feel about today? Nothing important and free. I'm gonna go with free. 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 That's very important. That is my favorite feeling. So, should I punish you? Let me think for a second. Hmm. Grandma, <laughs> please be nice to me. Of course I'll be nice. You can explore and travel the world as much as you want, sweetie, as long as I know you're safe. Thank you, Grandma. Yes? Can we invite, uh... How was your day? I slept all day, I think. I don't know why I was so tired. Probably that long. Long book, trying to finish. And the main character, she is... Oh, God. The writer has never met a woman, trust me. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me just finish up the book then, because apparently, we can add some photos to our book. And I think the one that I kind of like the most from all the photos that we took is this one with the river. So let's just place this one in the middle here. Let us place a... F Can I place a few stickers or just one? You know what? I'm going to add this one. I kind of like this one with the cave. Uh, next up, I want to have some sounds. And I think I kind of like the Kaluber sounds. Yeah, it's going to come out out of this one. And next, we're going to have a, a poem. Impress Calubra. Adventure. Exploring. Let's go with... Cave, a cathedral of stone. Adventure through a great darkness. Yeah, let's go with this one. Um, exploration. No, let's go with free. Freedom, an expected sensation. I want to be free no matter how. So I venture through great darkness. I want to be free no matter how. Okay, and next up, Calubria. Calubria, mythical serpent. Calubria, guardian of the Dordogne. I've seen the Calubria with my own eyes. I venture through the great darkness. I want to be free no matter how. Calubria, guardian of the Dordogne. There we go. Validate. That one is a really great memory because we finally got ourselves kind of like a friend that we can uh, chill out with and explore this beautiful town together. Hmm. Chapter 6, The Picnic. That scarf, it has to be somewhere inside the house. Go in Grandma's room and find the scarf. Okay. Uh, the scarf should be upstairs in Nora's bedroom. In the meantime, I'm getting some messages. You have six missed calls. What? That's fine. Let him call. Nora with Grandpa, 1980, is written on the picture. He already looked uh, quite sick. When are you back? This weekend might be our last chance for Belinus. I'll keep you updated, sorry. I hope the scarf will lead me to the box. So quiet. Looks like she had time before she... Hmm. Let's find the scarf. Wait, there's a note here. Edward, this letter is a courteous final warning. Leave our family alone. The way we live is none of your business. We appreciate your hospitality and you took good care of our Renard in the past. But your investigation regarding our religion is going too far. 
The next time you cross the line, we will complain to your academy, the rector, even to the police. Renata is not your child. Take care of your own problems with your son before harassing us like this. Man, seriously. Grandma and Grandpa moved here in the past 50s. Uh, that was 6 or 7. Uh, okay, I think I actually see the scarf in the background there. There we go. Awesome. We found it. Ooh, something fell out of it. Oh, a photo of the family. So I'm guessing this is Grandpa. Oh, this is Tiny Renaud and the family. Uh, I think that's what this is, yeah. Oh, and the watch. The watch on his hands is actually the watch that Renaud had. Wait. What? That's Edward, my grandfather, and Nora and Renaud. This must be his parents. Edward has Renaud's watch. He, he probably gave it to him. Yep, that is correct. <laughs> The watch! It is at the center of the whatever happened between them! Wait, I remember! The watch! Nor and Renaud! Hmm... Man, I'm loving this so far because this feels a lot like a detective game. I've gotta go! <laughs> She's Where so excited to go. To play outside with a friend. A friend? I'd better check just to make sure. <laughs> I'd better check just to make sure. Oh, Grandma is in the background as well. to get home? Nah, nobody cares about me. I'll stay here, I think. Hey, let's continue our search tomorrow, okay? Yeah, sure. Um, Grandma? 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 <laughs> Grandma? <laughs> <sighs> what? Oh. Can we invite my friend here? Please say yes. He's all alone, and he'll be hungry. Uh, yes, of course. Why don't we have a picnic outside? It's so beautiful. And we can make something easy to eat. A picnic! That's a brilliant idea! Yeah! Awesome! Could you help me with the food for the picnic? Sure! Alright, prepare the picnic with Grandma. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do. Uh, but let's just see what she's gonna ask me to do. Maybe I gotta go in the back here to grab some stuff. I see Grandma won't buy me uh, new cereals. I miss them a little bit. <laughs> the cereals are not good for you, kid. Come on. They have all sorts of bad stuff in them. Am I supposed to go outside to prepare the picnic, I wonder? Yeah, I don't know. Let me go outside for a second and see if uh, that's how I got to prepare the uh, picnic. Oh, actually, I cannot go downstairs. Grandma, can I help you with something? Mom never lets me cook at home. Don't worry. I'll guide you. All right. Uh, Renault's secret. Let's go with Renault. I'm happy to introduce you to Renault. Renault. I can't wait to meet Renault. All right. Grab the knife. And chop, 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 and chop. Okay, we got some potatoes. Let's get another one. And done. Uh, let's go with Wild. He, he's a bit wild. I don't have any other friends like that. Wild, I hope he's nice. Oh, he is. <laughs> Now, the secret recipe is lots of heat and lots of fat. Alright, let me turn this stove on. Let me put this on. The, f the father... The 
butter the merrier. Alright, uh, let me grab this one then. Open it up. Grab a spoon. And let me get some fat from over here, I guess. And put it in the uh, pan. That might be enough fat. <laughs> Let's uh, season everything with salt and pepper. Uh, holidays, region. Let's go with region. He showed me different places. He knows this region very well. I bet he does. And I think that's enough salt. Big plants. He wants to explore the river. We have big plants. Big plants. Get to here, sweetie. Right, that's good. Uh, let's also go ahead and shake the potatoes a little bit. Mix them up. Into the frying pan they go. Alright, mix it all up a little bit, I guess. I think it'd be great. They'll still warm for a picnic. If we hurry... Follow me. Yep, I'm coming. Now, did I just give myself a tape that I can go and listen to? Hello, everybody. Nope, and this is the same one that we listened to previously. Well, uh, there is a tape over here that we can collect. So let me collect this one and listen to it. There we go. This is a new tape. And we can, of course, listen to it. Nor and Edward, the project. Probably remove the roof as it is and think about using this surface as a garden. Maybe... I think your client would prefer it this way and... Nora? Oh, sorry. Didn't see you were working. Oh, no, 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 no. No worries. I'm just helping the agency. They asked my opinion about a, a project they have and... What can I do for you? Uh, I'm out of medicine. I'll drive to town. I'll go. I need some supplies. No, no. Keep working. Edouard, it's... it's nothing serious. They asked for my opinion, and I started to believe it was a bit more than that. You can go to Paris if you need to. You know you can leave me alone for a few days. No, do not worry. I'll go to the pharmacy. Anything else? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Fine. I'll be back in 20. Huh, look at this. She worked hard on a new design. Oh, Nora. She left her recorder on. <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, so that has been collected. Let me keep it going here for a second. I want to see if uh, there's going to be... No, nothing in there. Has a thing that we try to plant with Grandma here grown already? I can I interact with it? So never mind. All right, hold up. We gotta go down below to prepare for the picnic. All right, I'm coming. I'm going, Grandma. Hold up. Almost there. For some reason, we're also quite slow. Although I remember that when we went outside. We used she to be a little bit faster. And my ideas. I think she enjoyed it. It must be so refreshing to have someone like that in your life. Someone who says yes to all your stupid ideas. All your whims. Oh, uh, hold up. Let's grab uh, the text. There was a text here, snack, that I got to collect. There we go. Uh, there's also a sticker we gotta collect by the looks of it. Can I jump this way? I wanna see if I can take a photo or something. Oh, there is a view that I can access actually, and I think if I do that, I will be able to take some more photos. Um, access. Yes, we can! Alright, let me go for the recorder. Got the water recorded. There we go. We got the wind recorded. Mm -hmm. 
I already recorded that. I'm just looking around and see what other sounds we can collect from up here. All right, anyway, uh, let me go with the photo then. I wish I could take some photo of the fishies jumping about, but it doesn't look like that is even possible. Okay. All right, there's one photo. And one more over there. She put awesome. up with me and my yeah. ideas. I think she enjoyed it. It must be so refreshing to have someone like that in your life. Someone who says yes to all your stupid ideas, all your whims. I have a feeling we're going to be going uh, to have a picnic on the same place where we first met the thief, right? Or no? We're going to keep on calling him the thief, I guess. And we made it. This place is really cool, Grandma. Shouldn't you call your friends? Right, uh, I'll call him from the bottom of the cliff. All right, hold up, there's a sticker here that I can collect, apparently. Call Renault to the beach. Yoo-hoo! Hey, how are you? I brought lunch. Coming. <laughs> Wanna just grab some pine cones so we can decorate the picnic? Yes, he'll love that. This is going to be great. Uh, I'm gonna go with this pine cone, of course. Let's use a little bit of glue on it. Oh wait, I should have placed <laughs> should have placed more glue around. I should have placed glue everywhere. This is not gonna work now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is easier than I expected. It's easier because you want to do it. Simple as that. Hmm. You must be right. My friend will be here soon. Let's get the food out then. Alright, we collected another sticker. I guess we're ready. Mimi, he's here. Hey. Hi. No, this is my grandma, Nora. Hurry now. I... I ran as fast as I could. You didn't have to. You brought some food, but uh, why don't you just take a picture first, Mimi? <laughs> oh, look at that, the watch, and she actually saw it. Got a nice one, and this time, you're not all blurry. Before you called me, I'm pretty sure I saw something in the water. Did you scream? I did, but I think your scream is much better than mine. What are you hunting, kids? The Calubria, of course. Of course. Do you think we've got a chance? It, it can't run away forever. Mimi and I could easily catch it. I have no doubt you'll succeed. And when we catch it, I hope everybody will see me pull the serpent out of the water. Uh, Hungry? Sorry, no. Are you hungry? Yeah, I didn't have any breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. Grandma suggested we should have a picnic with the three of us. With the three of us. Do you mind, Renault? I don't. Afterwards, maybe we can play hide and seek or something else. We'll see, sweetie. Uh, is everything okay? It is. Yeah, it is. Let's just enjoy the picnic. Uh, do you guys know each other? Uh, we do, sweetie. It's all about the watch.
The watch? What are you talking about? A thief and a liar. It's not true. Nobody believes me. Here, I don't care about the stupid watch. What? Stop. You shouldn't play with thieves. He, he didn't steal the watch. He told me he didn't. Why would he lie? Nora knew Renault. And he knew my grandfather. Something bad had happened between them. Mm. I see it now. I ran so fast. And for so long. I wasn't angry anymore. I just felt empty. And sad. Why? Why? I'm so sick of this family. I must calm down. I must calm down. The binder. Good idea, Mania. Good idea. Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna make another page. I think I'm actually gonna use this photo, to be honest. With the watch. And try to figure out what's happening here. Alright, let me get a sticker. I'm gonna get a cone here, actually, that I'm gonna use. Let me get a sound as well. This is gonna be the Frank Pan. And lastly... Know each other. Big plants. Renault. Let's go with Renault, a very peculiar character. I call this Renault friends. Yeah, let's go with I call this Renault friends. They know each other. They share secrets. Renault and Nora know each other. I speak less. I'm at a loss of words. Let's go with they know each other. And then let's go with all revolves around the watch. There we go. Awesome. It's just getting started. Oh, I think it started raining outside, eh? Oh, what's that? Chapter 7, the Kalupa. I think there is some sort of an alarm. What's that? A fire alarm? Uh, I gotta go check. Uh, find where the beeping comes from. Probably not a fire alarm, maybe just like an alarm or something uh, of a clock just activating. Alright, anyway guys, I think it's gonna be the end of this episode of They're Doing It, and we will come back the next one. We're gonna have to make our way downstairs and check on the alarm and see what that is all about. Hopefully we can get some more information about what is happening, and I just noticed... There is a letter on the table here, or on the bed actually, I want to say. Interesting. Yeah, we're definitely going to check that one out in, in the next episode. So until next time, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.